everybody, this is Austin and welcome back to my channel. Just over a year ago, I was filming my very first video in an office similar to this. And then I quickly got booted into the garage to make room for the new baby. Well, it took a year, but I'm finally back in the studio instead of freezing in my garage because we moved into our new house. So all of these changes have got me thinking about where Project Mare started and just how far it has come. Exactly one year ago today, my very first video, Guitars in Fusion 360, had only 19 views and I had zero, count it, zero subscribers. Well, today we have over 60,000 views, almost 1,800 subscribers, and only a few videos left until Project Mare is finished. So with all that in mind, I think it's time to kick off 2022 with a bang. So to start, I have officially released the CAD file for Project Mare to the public, and it is now available for download for free on grabcad.com. Now this file includes my original drop top design, which you guys watched me model for nearly the past year, as well as two other alternative versions, which we'll get into in just a minute. Now you might be asking yourself, Austin, why the hell are you releasing your design files to the internet for free? Well. The reason is actually quite simple, because a little over a year ago, this was more of a personal endeavor for me to build a guitar for myself. But since then, a huge community has been built up around it of very talented designers, hobbyists, luthiers, and engineers from all over the world. And I don't think I actually necessarily own this file, and it's more of a community project. And so that's why I'm releasing the files, because I am really curious to see what you guys will do with this design. So with that in mind, I'm really excited to announce that today marks the start of the 2022 Project Mayor Guitar Build-Off. And this contest will run from January 1st today to July 1st of 2022. So let's get started with rule number one, all handmade or CNC guitars or basses are welcome for this contest. So I have no problem for you masochists who wanna build the entire thing with just one chisel, or if you wanna do the entire thing automatically on the CNC. And I'm also really excited to see those of you who are gonna to choose to go the bass route because ever since I started building this guitar, a ton of people have said this is screaming to be a bass. And so I included that in this project as well. So if you would like to turn this design into a bass or a guitar of your choosing and your manufacturing method, I am totally fine with that. And rule number two is that there is no limitation on the hardware that you'd like to use for this design. So this includes pickups, bridges, tuners, saddles, end pins, you name it. Um, I have no problem with you guys switching this to a headless design and using headless hardware. You can switch it to a Floyd Rose instead of a fixed hip shot bridge like I'm using. So don't feel limited by the choices that I made in my design and go ahead and do what you would like to see on this guitar. And rule number three is very similar to rule number two, where there is no limitation on the materials that you can use for this design. So I do not care if you build this entire thing out of stainless steel, which holy crap, that's gonna be heavy, but, or you build it out of resin or wood, your favorite, uh, your favorite walnut, your favorite maple, mahogany, does not matter to me. Um, you can also use any type of color, paint, stain, finish, anything that you would like. So if you would like to go ahead and turn this entire thing bright purple, you go for it. So rule number four is very important. The outer profile of the body must remain faithful to the original. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I know a lot of you guys are gonna get really wacky with this design and I want to make sure that in the end it is still identifiable as a mare design. Now you can change the size of the guitar to accommodate whatever other changes you'd like to make to this design, but I still must be able to tell that it is a mare design. So that being said, all other um, changes that you make to this body are completely fair game. So that includes relief cuts, that includes bolt-on set or through necks, um, removing the headstock, headstock shape, size, angle. If you wanna make this a multi-scale fan fret, eight string, you go for it. Um, I do not care what inlays or anything you put on it. I just want to make sure that the outer contour of the body is identifiable as mare. And rule number five is that any 3D file you create for this project must remain open source and available for download for free on grabcad.com. Now, the reason why I included this rule is because the spirit of Mare is more about sharing knowledge. And it, like I said at the beginning, it is now kind of owned more by the community than any one individual. And so in order to maintain or make sure that that stays true going into the future, I wanna make sure everything remains open source so that way the community can build upon and improve this design over time. 
Now that's pretty much it for the rules. I left a ton open for you guys to get very creative with this design. However, with still being able to tell that it's a mere design and making sure that it remains open source. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and dig into what the prizes are gonna be. Now the first, second, and third place winners will receive an assortment of hardware from various companies. This includes tuners, bridges, pickups, etc. Now unfortunately, I don't have all the details on this yet, so I can't share with you exactly which brands because I'm still working on the sponsorships and vendors to go ahead and get this coordinated. However, in addition to that, each contestant who wins this contest will also receive a piece of the original Mare guitar because I still have all the scrap wood that was used to make this guitar and I'm gonna be turning that into a special prize just for you. So for those of you interested in joining the contest, here's what you need to do to go ahead and qualify and submit your work. In order to qualify, you must follow the first five rules that I listed earlier, which should be very simple because there's basically no limitations. Secondly, I'm providing you guys with three different ways to go ahead and submit your work. So the first way to submit your work is through a YouTube video, and the title must include Project Mare 2022 Guitar Build-Off. And at minimum, you must showcase the final results and preferably even play the guitar so we can hear it. But also, I would really like to see the actual build process that you use to make this guitar. So like I said earlier, if you decided to build this entire thing with a chisel, I would love to see it. Or if you built the whole thing with a CNC, I think that would be great. So that way we can all learn from each other's manufacturing methods. The second way to submit your work is through my Discord server. So if you're not already a member of my Discord, you can check in the description below for a link. It's totally free to join and there's a lot of talented people in there. Um, it's become a really great community. So if you'd like to submit your work on the Discord server, you just need to post detailed photos of the finished piece in the submissions channel underneath the 2022 Mayor Build-Off uh, category. If you don't fancy those options, you can go ahead and just send me an email. So in order to qualify via email, you just need to send your detailed photos of the finished piece to akdesigns.cad at gmail.com and make sure you include Project Mayor 2022 Guitar Build-Off in the subject line. So that's pretty much it. And man, I am so excited to see what you guys come up with. I do not care if it's going to be a base design or a giant multi-scale design or a simple filleted body. I know that you guys are gonna produce incredible work. So once you've built your guitar and you've submitted your work before the July 1st deadline, I will go ahead and create a website that has all the contestants and their finished pieces available for the community to vote on who should win this contest. So with that being said, I will see you guys in the next few weeks for the next episode of Project Mayor. And for those of you who are gonna be joining the contest, good luck and go build a sick guitar. This is Austin signing out.